How's it going, YouTube? In this video, we're gonna show you this blackstone table that we set up. This is the DIY table. We'll also talk about why we chose a blackstone to replace our barbecue and some of the accessories we carry around with us later on in the video. So this is the current setup, but before we talk about this, let's look at some of the options out there and why we chose to go with DIY. So if you go on Google and type in 22 inch blackstone table, these are the results that show up. So you have this signature blackstone one, which looks pretty nice, but it's also about $200. So it's pretty expensive for what you get. You also have this GCI one and you know, it looked good. We actually ordered this, tested it out, but it was very flimsy. And when you're scraping it off, it shook. So we figured it wasn't a good setup. We also had this other really small table, but the issue that it was just too small. It wouldn't fit everything that we needed. We ended up testing out this table that we had in our basement and we got a few years ago a Canadian Tire and it ended up being the perfect size. The only thing is that we wanted to build in a few different hooks to hang some of the accessories and this was the perfect DIY project. Come closer, I'll show you how we actually set it up. So these are just some hooks that we got. They're meat hanging hooks. Um, you can probably get them at any store. We found them in our basement. So we drilled a few holes over here. We just allow it to sit like one, two, and three. This is another hook. And I just screwed in two little um, anchors. So you can put this over here like this. And that's where this piece goes. So it just hangs like that. You have these two fun things with the black one. So go over there. We got our tongs, you always need these. It'll go there. We also got my oil, or oil and water. Okay, this is important. Now on this side, we put a garbage can. So this is just a little DIY. Uh, we just put a, a screw in over here and we actually use old door like knobs and it'll just kind of clip on and sit like that. And over here, it's just a piece of paper towel. So. Just a little bungee cord with two more hooks. And there you go. I also want to mention why we chose the Blackstone to replace our barbecue and why it might be a good option for you. So our camper came with this dual burner side mounted stove, which is pretty good. And it also had an easy propane connection. The main issue was that it was small, right? When we cooked breakfast, it couldn't fit that much food. We then bought one of these removable griddle tops to increase the surface area, but when we got it, it got too hot and then it burned our knobs. The main barbecue we used was this Napoleon grill we got from Costco a few years ago, and it's actually amazing. The only issue is that it's a bit of a mess and it retains a lot of grease, so it's hard to clean. We kept hearing about the Blackstone and we saw it on sale one day, so we figured let's give it a try and it is truly amazing. We use it for everything. We've made eggs, bacon, french toast, home fries, pancakes, cinnamon buns, burgers, sausage, steak, steak on a bun, tuna rolls, salmon, vegetables, literally anything you name, we've basically done on the Blackstone. Last week we even tried steak, fish, and chicken tacos and they were awesome. So right now we're making chicken Caesar wraps. We got the chicken over here and we got bacon and we'll show you the rest in a second. So these are all the accessories that we carry with the Blackstone and they actually all fit inside this bag over here which is really nice. Now this bag is just something we got from a grocery store but the nice thing is that it has four different compartments so it helps us keep it very organized. So let's go through these. On the right over here we have this five piece set that we got from Walmart. Uh, it has Blackstone imprinted on it and it's a lot cheaper than all those other Amazon ones you see. So I think it's about $25. We then have a lighter. This is the part that the Blackstone came with. It allows you to connect to one of those one pound green propane tanks, but since they go through pretty quick, we definitely recommend getting two different adapters. So this adapter over here allows you to connect to a 20 pound propane tank. And then this adapter allows us to connect directly to our camper. Now over here, we have the grease tray with a few different liners. And then we have just a few different accessories you saw us attached to the table that we made. Now we'll show you exactly how it looks like when it's packed up. So both adapters fit on one side, we have the grease tray on the other side. We then throw some of these bottles over here. So this is how everything fits inside the bag afterwards. So you'll see it fits pretty nice. 
And to put it in a comparison, our black stone is right over there. We also purchased this carry bag and cover off Amazon, and we use it to keep the black stone in, and it makes it very easy to carry and transport without getting grease all over yourself. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and stay tuned for a lot more content coming soon.